And so you, you managed to win that thing. What, what was it like being Sir Alan's uh, business partner? And was that with your, um, that was with your heating company? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was incredible because, you know, I think three years prior, I'd started Impregas um, off the back of reading his book. I literally quit my job and I was so passionate. That was the fuel that fired me to become a business owner. So for then three years later, for him to buy, basically invest 250 grand and become a 50% owner. I mean, what an incredible story. And um, it was the best feeling ever. And, you know, I idolized Lord Sugar. I worshipped him. Um, as a young businessman. And um, so, you know, it was kind of... That's sort of past tense. What's happened? Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, I worshipped him and then we went into business together oh, right. and not I every knew. partnership works out. I knew out, it. Right? I could I know what it's it. like. Heard, um, yeah, past tense. <laughs> um, so it was incredible. It was phenomenal. I'm, so ever, I'm forever grateful for him for picking me. I mean, I worked with him for two years mm -hmm. and I was the first apprentice to, um, to buy him out and go on my own. And um, uh, after two years of working with him... And, you know, we had some good times and we had some very turbulent times, but really, turbulent that experience... Times. What was the worst thing then? <sighs> very fiery boardrooms. I mean, Lloyd Sugar wanted ultimate control. And so, you know, I remember um, uh, going into one of the board meetings and I was doing a lot of social media and he just gave me an absolute pasting and said, I'm invested in you to run your business, not to become a motivational speaker on social media, oh, you know. And I'm like, well, I understand that, but you're also not my dad. Um, you're my business partner. So don't tell me what I can and can't do outside of work, right? We're partners here. So, you know, I, I was very fiery at 25. I didn't want to listen a lot of the time. I thought I knew all the answers, um, you know. Was, and so, was he right? I'd say in some cases he was right, and in some cases I was right, for sure. Um, and boardroom politics was like something I'd never experienced. To be in a boardroom after being a plumber running a plumbing business. I can remember the first board meeting when they got the financial pack out and we're looking at all of the accounts. And I had a profitable business at 25. It was a good business, big business. Um, but actually, I remember looking at the numbers and thinking, I don't know all of these documents. You know, I, like many business owners, I used to see my accountant once a year and I felt intimidated. And so I left that board meeting and went to work on my personal development and training and made sure that when I went back, I was skilled up and knew everything well, about accounts. That's what accounts. you're going to do. That's what yeah. you're do. So your, your business now... Uh, since you've left The Apprentice, mm -hmm. tell us, uh, give us a summary of, of what's going on. With OK, you. so um, I went and built a national plumbing and heating business. And um, when I was 30 years of age, I exited that business. Now I've got a company called The Trade Mastermind, which basically, which basically trains um, construction business owners on how to scale up to seven figures and beyond. So we help tradespeople become business people. Um, it's been running for about two and a half years. I started it one month before the pandemic hit. Mm -hmm. And um, I've taken that from zero start up. Um, there's no training companies in the construction space, so we're pioneering the industry. We've done 4 million in sales in our first two years. We've created 25 jobs. Um, we've got about 2,500 clients. I've helped a few of our um, construction clients go from six figures to seven figures and then sell for six-figure sums, um, two plumbing and heating businesses. Um, so it's been an incredible journey, really, of just using all the years of knowledge that I was able to gain and passing that down to other business owners to show them the right ways and to show them also what the wrong ways are so they can avoid them and not make the same mistakes that I did in business.